Hello there and welcome back to some more Grand Turismo 4. Today we're continuing on with a Let's Play. This is episode 54. In today's episode we are taking a look at the British GT series. So, just like in the last episode, we indeed need a British car. Let's go find us one. We're going to go to the only place where you should buy British GT cars. Or at least before they became turbocharged. <laughs> Aston. It's time for some Astons. Mm. And it's time for a car me and Azza have a lot of fond memories with. You say fond. fond. You say fond. 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 Yeah. This is going to end well this time, as um, I can well, feel it. Um, Emil. A lot of death. Emil. Hmm? Last time I remember you using this car, I believe your words were, fuck this car. <laughs> we're never no, using No, no, that was the XJ220. That was the XJ220. Hmm? That was what the XJ220. Inferno, do us a favour. What? Find out quickly if I'm allowed to use... If it's race tyres or if it's sport tyres in this. Uh, it's most likely going to be uh, sports tyres, but I can, can change. Oh no, Nascan DB7 sports tyres. Let's stick some nitrous in it, because that's what all Aston Martin DB7s need. Hmm. <laughs> This is the V12 one, which doesn't actually make all that much more power than the supercharged V6 did. How did this thing make? Like 400? It was... This one's 420 stock. The supercharged V6 was 340, I think. Not too much. But like I don't think they... Were... Different. That was a lot in 1999. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, definitely. I mean, when you consider, like... The fastest AMG was making 300 horsepower at the time, yeah. Uh, Red Pig, or whatever it was? No, this was... Uh, like the C43... I think the E55 was like 300 and change horsepower. Yeah. Any luck on finding out the tyres? Busy masturbating sounds like... That's <laughs> not <laughs> too much. And all ourselves, check uh, Rhino's fucking video. Uh, sure. I don't think I've ever used the carbon drive shaft in this game uh, yet. So sports solid. tires. Sports tires, excellent. I'm imagining. I like being the second person to ever. being part of the second person to ever do a let's play, because we can just nick what the first person did. Yeah, it is a big advantage. <laughs> it really is a big advantage. Welcome to why, like, I would never... Well, actually, would I do a game this big first? Probably. Because <coughs> the thing is, Inferno knows his way around this mostly, so it's not too bad. Anyways, this is the one, isn't it? British GT Series. UK yeah. cars only. That's the only restriction. But, God, I keep with the themes. We go to Grand Valley's Fuji Speedway, Al Capitan Infineon Raceway, and Midfield Raceway. Nice tracks. And... Hello? Hello, shit. Oh, it's Torrent. Hi, Torrent. You missed... A... Oh, no, um, interesting. What, from... what did I miss that was interesting? I will tell you in a second as soon as I've La... turned off the thing. Basically nothing. Um, we went on Copart <laughs> and looked at cars. <laughs> Including okay. um, a Mercury Mountaineer, which was literally <laughs> like there were the. It was a villager. You know how villager. some people joke and say like, "Oh, I had this crash and like the entire side of my car was gone." Uh, yeah. Yeah, this Mercury um, had the entire side of it Bill missing, like as in it was like Bill the the, the uh, steering wheel basically decapitated the driver. Well, bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways, those A spec points have me worried. Hmm. Remember the last time you used DB7? No, this one's gonna end well. <laughs> Is it fucked? As evidenced by the fact that I probably should have started it in second gear. Yes. I just loved how everyone else. Launched off like mad. Yeah, it's because I don't have traction control on. <laughs> and the entire AI won traction control. Hmm. Traction control is 
Yes. Well, I wouldn't mind it too much. The problem is it completely ruins the way the cars drive, so... Ow. <laughs> it's weird driving this now. Going from my sort of nice lightweight TVR Tamora <laughs> to this thing. Ironically, if you wanted to save money, you probably could use the... It, it, ooh, Jesus Christ. Hi, DB9, you didn't have to do that. Um, the, the amusing thing is, if you actually wanted to save a little bit of money here and be crafty, you could probably just use the Tamora from the last episode in this. Yeah. They still didn't make it sweet. At least then you could actually probably make your return in investment back on the car as well. <laughs> Falling over. Are you, driving, are you driving a DB9? 7. So DB7. I might use a DB9. Yes. This is the British GT Championship. Holy fuck, I'm back. I can tell. <laughs> you will what? need a NASA. It sounded like you literally just point. fucking threw everything across your room as you were like, moving around. I, like that. Oh, I just took a break to take care of things. Yeah, no worries. Have a nice wank. <laughs> Not quite. Maybe. Um, <laughs> maybe he I will now. say, can, can we just take a moment to appreciate something? Mm -hmm. That spree in front of us is in a lovely shade of purple. Oh, yeah. I just played Ooh, my last oh, ever game. Of, I just played my last ever game of power. Mm -hmm. It shuts down to nightfall. It shuts down to night, does it? Yeah. Rip in gone para. Yeah. Was it there? always online or does it actually know. have a single player? It was always online. Ah. Oops. It was a MOBA. As a what's that? What? A MOBA. It's, it's a tree bin. I don't know. It's a game like League of Legends, only League of Legends is shit. What's the League of. I've never played League of Legends. I've heard of it, and I know some booby streamers on Twitch who play it, and that's it. Well, it. <laughs> what is the definition of MOBA? Shit. A battle arena shit. Not into that nerd shit, you know that. To be fair, the problem with all of those games is like, fucking, like, you've got League of Legends and, what's the other one? Is it like StarCraft 2 or something? StarCraft, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, like, those are the two big ones. It's like, you, it's almost like going on PC and trying to make the most popular first person shooter while Counter-Strike still exists. Like, it, it's just not gonna happen. Yeah, it just will never happen. Like, I think Counter Strike been going around in, or going on anyway. Counter Strike's like still got like half a million people playing it because people are like Azar and completely sad. Yeah. I'm I will. I'm I will say that watching the World Championships is amazing because it's just a bunch of Russians shouting at each other. Yeah, that's true. Did you see that uh, thing, Azar? What thing? That one where there was like these Russian ones were like coexisting to come into this tournament, and it turned out all they did was like play against each other. But there was like these fucking strippers sat next to them, and they were like, no, they were like, literally like fucking standing on top of these players with like breasts showing and everything, and like these people were just fucking focused on the game. They didn't take their attention off. Damn. Like, the closest any yeah, of them got to getting you know, acknowledged is two of them were... Like, the the photo I remember from it is two of them were literally lezzing out on the table in front of him and this guy was just staring at the computer screen. <laughs> and then there was, like, another oh, please, one. Please, to be fair, yeah. this was the most reaction I ever saw. I think it was just, like, one of them, like, literally put her boobs on his head and he just sort of smiled while staring at the computer screen. <laughs> oh. This lucky <laughs> please bastard. Tell <laughs> please tell me you can find a video of this. Um, I'm not sure if there's video of it, there's definitely pictures of it. It's not hard to search up, I guess. Picture of it. I don't know if you want to search up CSGO stripper, because you might come across like, one kill <laughs> equals... Oh, actually, yeah, Torrent, you're did you see that? Find, you're probably finding videos of Soy Burger. Torrent, did you see that? 
What? That uh, bullshit controversy from last week. What was it? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. One kill in Fortnite equals one... Oh, God, that... Yeah. yeah. I one one piece kill of in Fortnite oh. equals one kiss of my sister. Fuck off. No, no, that was when they were playing strip Fortnite with his 13-year-old sister. <laughs> I, I found the I found the pictures. I think. To be fair, she was at least seventeen and not his actual sister. But even still, clickbait. Yeah. Clickbait. Oh my really god! The woman has. She... Well. well, it worked. Let's like, yeah, be honest. All he wanted was attention, and guess what? He got attention. Yeah, but guess who's back to make Fortnite videos as well? Keemstar. Yeah. Derv. Oh no, not Derv. They need to yeah, do like that video yeah. where it was just like, here's what happens when you play Fortnite at 3 a.m. or something. And he literally just yeah, launched so his he, PS4 no, controller the across the room. Yeah, he threw the controller across the room to try and fool people. One idiot. Back in the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> also, by the way, 109 A spec points. That seemed pretty easy for 109 A spec points. <laughs> hmm. Get the point of. Anyways, so I'm back. Overwatch. I'm better than ever. With a pizza. <laughs> oh, is everyone having pizza, pizza tonight? Because I had pizza. Fucking Funder was scratching had, his foot I had in the pizza box. I had chicken and bacon pasta bake. I'm currently mm. eating a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey guys, we've got Bugs Bunny's here. Back in the high life again. Back so, Neil, are you going to life. do the. Uh, are you going to do the thing that um, people normally do on this track? Um, if I can avoid it, oh, no. High life. High life, <laughs> Miller, high life. <laughs> but if I need to do it, then I will do the thing that no one has ever done. <laughs> Fucking the tus the uh, Sagaris is getting a little bit... If you ah! uh... F-type, why? Am I the only one who thinks the T... Like, after the Sagaris has come out, and I'm so used to seeing the Sagaris, the T350 just looks really weird now. Yeah. Like, it's not even because it hasn't got all, like, the mad fins and grills on it. It's just because I think the Sagaris was wider. Wasn't the T350 supposed to be a GT car? I'm not sure what the fuck... It's fucking... I'm fairly certain all of TVR's cars were supposed to be... GT cars, but it just didn't really pan out that way because TVR were mental. Your car was like they put it on a thousand horsepower dyno and it broke it. Yeah, at least they were in the 90s. Like before the 90s, they just produced <laughs> uh, well, shit to be honest with you. But Chimera? Uh, no, the Chimera was 90s. Mm -hmm. The well, Chimera, well. the Griffith, all of that was 90s. The 80s stuff was like when they were putting Ford V6s in cars. Yeah. They put a, they, PBR put a car on a thousand horsepower dyno and it broke. Yeah, that was the Speed 12. <laughs> Speed 12. <laughs> Figured out for life and I'm like, what the fuck was it? Yeah, that was the Speed 12. So, I think they officially rate it like 800 horsepower, but they don't really know. Because they broke the bloody rolling roads. Yeah, exactly. It is TVR though, so I can imagine the rolling road was just like two strippers just running. <laughs> Run a train on them. No, they were, they were two strippers on paid stripper. It broke the dino. How's it broke the dino? Because the strippers' spine literally just came up through their skull. Oh. <laughs> Well then. Oops. Yeah, let's hope the um, let's hope the uh, new Griffith is su suitably insane. I've seen it in real life. It is amazing. It is amazing. Yeah, because I saw oh, it. I saw points. it in purple as well, which was just like, oh, oh. get in me now. <laughs> get oh, in your no. asshole. <laughs> I am. An Here's the thing. I am sad about the death of Aston Martin. I am not sad. Like, t if TVR is now going to become New Bay, then that's fine. I, I will quite Wait, happily. Has Aston Martin died? No. Well, I class them as dying. For all intents and purposes, yes. <laughs> yes, because they now build ugly cars with the wrong engines. 
Well, they're, I still affiliated, refuse, they're now I still affiliated refuse, with, with Mercedes. I, st I still refuse you guys calling them ugly, but to each their The own. new Vantage is not a good looking car. The VB11 is oh. a good looking car. I don't yes, I believe agree. so. I, from I the do. front, okay, it's acceptable, but that rear end is just no. It looks fine. It looks fine everywhere. That's not good enough for Aston Martin. I'm not saying that to be a fanboy. I'm saying that just because that's how I feel. Yeah, but that's not good enough for an Aston Martin. Aston Martin's got to go look good I all over. Shit. That's the point of an Aston Martin. And oh, I, Emil, I, I think I know why you don't like the new Aston Martin Vantage. It's got a wolf on the top of it. Oh, no. But if you want an unpopular opinion, I think the DB7 looks worse in the back than the DB11. No! no. Get out my server and life and... <laughs> I'm aborting our child. Oh, shit. That's <laughs> like, it's just not happening, Thunder. I think that's it, but I'm not 100% okay. sure. The, it's the DB7. Okay. Le I like the DB7. I'm not saying it's an ugly car. Legitimately think... one of the top five best looking... Well, I mean, this one isn't because it's the Vantage, but... One of the top five best looking cars of all time. With a decent set of wheels on it. <laughs> top five best looking, no. No, I'm sorry. No. Well, what can you think of that look better than DB7? DB9? Uh, um, DB9? You see, the DB9, the thing, the thing is with the DB9 is it sort of as it grew, like, they evolved the design and it looks better. And the DB4. V8 uh, Vantage. That's a good looking car. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I wouldn't say it's better looking than DB7. It's too DB7 just kind of, The DB7 just kind of looks like it, it's of its time almost, to be honest. But that's fine. Kind of the way it's kind of, kind of like time. the. I mean, look at the, kind of like the like like the shape of the car to me is what looks off. Yeah, but I mean, look at the fucking Vector. That was a car at its time. But that's awesome. Yeah. No, the Vector is just cool in general, so. The Vector's a great looking car. The Vector's an amazing piece of kit. I want a car with a three speed automatic front wheel drive transmission and 1200 horsepower. Built by Vector <laughs> Aeromotive Company. I look up. Like, I want to see what this car looks like. If you've never seen the Vector WH Twin Turbo. The Weegert. The Wiga Vector WH Twin Turbo. It is an amazing thing to behold. Yeah, because oh. the transmission from an Oldsmobile. Yes, free speed automatic Oldsmobile Toronado gearbox, a small block V8 Chevy motor with twin turbos that could. I think they said it could do 1200 horsepower real, or 1200 horsepower realistically. Is it? It, Someone's gonna have to like confirm it. Well, yeah, I mean, the M12 was literally a Lamborghini. That Aston the... Martin's getting fucked by the fucking small TVR. That's great. I think the TVR Cyrus is pretty good, too, but I guess just... The Cyrus is cool. Different. I don't know. It looks different. I think that's what it is. I'm just a sucker for the night, is what can I say. So I really didn't live in the 90s, but... The thing is, I could legitimately buy a chime... Well, like, a chime or a server is something you can actually legitimately get in the UK. Remember when Top Gear took a, the chassis of a Camaro? Um... Yeah, it was like a fucked chime though, wasn't it? Like, that the one was broken. Yeah, and they, put, and they made it into an electric car. If you actually uh, look up on the DVLA website, that car, it does actually come up as TVR Electric. Which is amusing. <laughs> TVR Electric. Yeah, it. I think its actual name on the things like Maker TVR Model Eagle Eye Frost, and then it says Electric and Zero CC. The hammerhead and, Eagle Eye Frost. It doesn't say the Hammerhead part. It just says Eagle Eye Frost. So apparently it's a TVR Eagle Eye Frost. <laughs> they also call it the Ham Frost Eagle Ham Eye. But the thing is, you can buy like a chime mirror, like you can buy an okay chime mirror for like ten grand. And surprisingly, despite what everyone, what what you'd think, TVRs are actually surprisingly reliable. 
I'm not joking, the Chimera and the Cerbera are at, like, the engines on those things are known for being absolutely bulletproof. Like Alpha. Like, they're, they're more reliable I'm not sure what it is that affects the TVRs. I think it's rust that gets them quite badly, because the problem with TVRs is the body's made of fucking plastic, so you don't get rust on plastic. But you do get rust on the chassis. On the underside. Yeah, yeah on which the is hard to check for. But on the lift. Because they were all ladder today. chassis, because TVR was fucking mental. Yes. Yes. And that's why we That's why it was great. Yeah. We basically have a truck frame under it, so... I still fucking love that they're like... a uh, donor car that they've got now, which they put the new engine in to test. The fucking test mules on old Cerbera, with like a massive wing on it. <laughs> the new engine sounds phenomenal as well. I think it's like a 5 litre Ford engine or something. Oh, it's a Mustang engine. Or... Yeah, I think it's a Mustang engine, but they've like... Got TWR to play with it or something. Yeah, they they redone it. Yeah, I think it's like 450 horsepower or something. I don't know. It sounds about right. It looks good. It sounds good. It's a motherfucking TVR. So <laughs> it's all good. Are they did they officially bring the TVR back or? Not? Yeah, yeah, the button's back. That's why they're doing the Griffith. There's like the re reconciliation. <laughs> TVR. I mean, the funny thing with TVR Ooh. is they've got like some great names they could resurrect with that. They could do Cerberus, they could do the fucking Bring Back the Tasmin. Oh, oh the Tasmin were based on the Malone. I mean, the Tasmin was a great name. I'm trying to remember what other good TVR names it was. Tuscan. Yeah, Tuscan. Cagarus. Yeah, they had some good names. TVR Griffith, the 500 horsepower, and it's got side exit exhaust oh, right yeah. behind the driving steering wheels. <gasps> oh! Welcome to the closest thing you're gonna get to a Dodge Viper in today's modern climate. <laughs> Look at this! It's so it, it, it is a very pretty car. Okay, so I. New driver, and it's spun my fucking GPU fan up to max. Mm hmm. What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? What? Up to max. I'm just fucking to... shaggy two dope just joined the call. <laughs> we. Oh god, trees! Azaaaaaah is playing Rocket League. Yeah. Why is the capital letter in the wrong place? To annoy you. You're a fucking dick. Cause you know it fucking <laughs> does as well, that's the worst thing. <laughs> you fucking know it does. Arson messed with his watch in front of Jane. I'm gonna keep it like that. You fucking wait for the next episode, boy, I'm gonna fuck you over big time with it. <laughs> Because <laughs> you fucking know what's coming. Oh, do I? Inferno, confirm what's coming next. Next. That's what's coming next. It's just next. Next. I got my man. I need to swallow. <laughs> Don't try too hard. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't try Repeat that, hard. sir. <laughs> He said, try not to swallow too hard. Fuck off! It's like <laughs> you are guzzling the... That would be a meal's job. Hey! Oh, I spit. Hey. I spit, <laughs> I <laughs> use one. God. Yeah, um... The next event is, um... Gonna be Alex <laughs> just because Fucking of... What hell. car Emil might actually decide to what, use. What's it called, Inferno? The French... Car comp the French car championship, and you know what's so happening you know in that exactly game. What's oh, boy, oh well, Ludo championship then. Yeah, as a. <laughs> what? Well, I fuck. hope you're fucking ready for that. I'm not ready. Because you're gonna you fucking. Like ready. You're gonna regret that shit. Is it? Are does ready? it involve the Citroen C5? Because don't, I'm sick of them right now. It no. may potentially involve the Citroen C5. 
Is it a Peugeot 504? I don't even remember what... Oh yeah, the 504 is the South African one, isn't it? Or the African one that like conquered the world. The Africa Core one. Yeah, because there's the four, 504, the 405, and the 505, and they're all like completely different. Like, different trim levels? No, they were different cars. Speaking of which, Forza added the uh, thingy one, by the way. What? That um, Porsche that they just added to Forza was one of the ones that they added, or one of the Porsches that were called that before Peugeot decided that they own that name. Oh. Hence why that Dang. new Porsche is called the 906. Which would later be used on... Did Peugeot ever make anything with the 900 series? Because there was the 806 and the 805. You should have French cars. And there was the 807. The 807 was an amazing thing because it had like two chins. Yep. <laughs> it had double chins, it was great. Fat. Then again, so did the Fiat Ulysses as well, whatever it's called. Oof. The Fiat Ulysses. As it. Yeah? I'm gonna make a really horrific thing for you here. Oh no! Can I admit something? Yes! And there's one Citroen that I like for reasons I can't explain why. Uh oh? I actually like the Citroen C8, and I have no idea why. Why? But if I was gonna C8. buy like one of those things, like I would buy a C8 probably. So you gold stealing little bitch! They look cool! Kinda. Uh, um... I mean they don't look cool at all, but like, they sorta do. You can get them with V6s. V Emil. It looks like an MPV. Anyway. It does. Do you know what else I like? And I kind of want one. Ford Windstar. No. Well, yes. Um, but no. I, I kind of want a Citroen C6 as well, because that would be a cool car to own for a bit. Because the, the C6 was so weird. Okay. Yes, it is. Anyways. So how was your sex life? <laughs> um, Last question. Because I don't have a girl in the fight. Citroen so. C6. Anyways, oh, back to that. Fuck. <laughs> your, your sex life is a Citroen C6. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a C6. They're kind of cool. They have, they have hydro suspension. They do. Which is one reason why yeah. I won't buy one. <laughs> because oh, that big. suspension just breaks and that's all it knows how to do. Hydro pneumatic suspension in Citroen Torque is just warranty defect. Yeah. That's what it actually yeah, means. Yeah, uh, hydro pneumatic suspension is just a big no. Yes. <laughs> big fuck no, yes. fucking today, Jesus. So, ours. What? I'm assuming you inherited your dad Citroen C5 then. I'm not inheriting it. <laughs> it's going to die sometime soon. Hey guys, if we get um, if we get a hundred likes on this video, I will buy as a recession C5 and hand deliver it to him. Yes. <laughs> and I'll make sure it's in his. I've got his address now, so I'll make sure it's in his name oh, no. and everything. I've been a fool. That's what this microphone business is all for. Yeah. <laughs> so I can buy you a Citroen C5. Like, preferably one that's like spares and repairs, like maybe got like two weeks left on the MOT. How about one that's beige? They did beige. No, ones. no, you'd like beige. No, I wouldn't. I'm gonna buy a red one, I'm gonna spray paint the bumpers black just to irritate you. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> Here's what you do. Here's what you do. Get a yes. bright red, we get a matte black hood. My neighbor who murders oh, yeah, people's got a Citroen C5. Effect. I'll give you that one. It's like green. <laughs> you found a Citroen uh, C5, bright Stop red. Stop fucking Matt bumping me, teammate, you dick! <laughs> <laughs> Back in the hot life again. Bright red, matte black hood. You can only tell the answer is having fun on 
Rocket League. I'm not really. My teammate bombed me out of the way, so I couldn't save fucking. Maybe you should be better then. I can't be better on my own team. Well, being get better team. then. If I get better, then I might be able to get out of playing with these fuckers. So yeah, good point. Yeah, there you go. Get good. Good. <laughs> it's hard to when you got the game like four fucking days ago, and it started and it's gone on sale. Hidden. Like literally three days after. I Did you just it. say hint? No. I was gonna hint. say I've already got Rocket League. I own it on PC. <laughs> it runs. That was not me. It runs. That's like the most charitable thing I could say about it. It runs. It runs. I'm not fucking lose this match because my teammate was. Anyways, I'd just like to point out we... yeah. you all owe me an apology. No, okay. I don't owe well, I... an apology. Because mm, tried using the that's in like DB7 before and it didn't work. Well, guess what? It's working very DB7. well, in fact. I beg your pardon. I didn't say nothing. Look at it working. <coughs> yeah, but here's the thing, Camille. Last time you used the DB7, you were trying to ram a motorsport at least into the pit I wasn't lane trying to. On, it just on became advantageous with to do so. burnt out tyres and you failed. It was all Azza's fault. Oh, was you... it? Was it now? Nah. Like, here's the thing we don't it, usually admit, that, but it was Azza the entire time he was playing Gran Turismo 3. Oh, sod off. It wasn't me. Nah, it was all Rhino's fault because he wasn't <laughs> If it was me, I'd have given up halfway through the fucking amateur league. Uh, and you know you what that makes you? Smell that bullshit what? from a mile away. That makes See. you an amateur. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake, Dad. Dad? Dad? Yeah, that... That pun was on a dad level. But Dad... There wasn't a pun, it's the truth, he needs to get Lock good. The ball so I can do that and score because I'm oh, sexual. Yeah. I'm just a yes. sexy boy. Yeah, it's You're a sexual. Dude, the fucking ball to our goal, you dickhead. Alright. I'm not your right. boy. Now, sir, you must calm down. Fucking hell, did you just get airtime then? Uh, yes. The joys of running. The joys of running midfield raceway in reverse. Yeah, you get uh, airtime at the most inopportune time, and then you have to use tiny TVRs to block your um, descent. Someone called Hentai is Bay has won my match. I'm gonna kill. Hentai is Bay. Yeah. Hey, listen. Excuse me. Sir. They're on my team. Fuck. You, you, oh, so your team, your team's Russian then. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> Wait, is psychic that broke out of prison? Who broke out of prison? Did you hear about the midget psychic that broke out of prison? No. Medium at large. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I got the joke, but I didn't say anything. But that reaction made it worth it. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I'll just. What's the best? Thing. What's the best pickup line at a gay bar? Oh my oh, god, no. Heisenberg! Oh, oh no. there's pretty boy. This Heisenberg Ooh, kid is yeah. about as useful as scrotum tissue. Good <laughs> point. Fuck. I mean, it is I pretty think. useful. It keeps your bollocks in place. Uh oh. No scrotum <laughs> tissues. Just for wiping your throat. Yes. Oh, okay, here's a messed up one. I mean, one. I don't need to, really? I like mummified mine. Messed up one. Probably. I don't, yeah. I don't know what was worse. The fact that I came and sent my sister, or that the whole family watched me do it. Either way, the entire funeral was shocked to a halt. Oops. Oops. Uh, Advan. Advan. Super Advans for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> why did Humpty Dumpty? Oh my god. Okay, why did Humpty Dumpty push his girlfriend off the wall? Oh god. 
Right. Heisenberg, do something! Who? This, 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 uh, my teammate is being Ian completely Russian. useless. Heisenberg. Oh, so it's a Russian. That's good. With, it's Heisenberg with Russian. five, which makes him unique. Special. So he's a Russian. Yes. What, about, what happened to the other four Heisenbergs? They just get taken. Probably. It's like when you see I'm someone across the line. Made a fuck. It's like when you see someone with a username, it's like Stephen Jones 21903. And it's like. Stephen Jones. How many other Stephen Joneses were there who calls their kid Stephen? That's like child abuse. <laughs> who calls their kid Azza? That's even more child abuse. They didn't call him Azza. Yeah. They <laughs> called him Woody. <laughs> The name's Woody. not Woody, you dick. It'd be funny if it was. Okay, you would. Okay, your name's Porky then. Truth be told, I just Ow. wish your name was Alan. <coughs> mm -hmm. Ow! Fucking Alan. Ow! Yeah. Anyways, I'm boys, it's like prize card time. Oh, Feeling bro, confident. Bro. This is British GT, Let's so this is gonna be so good. Win. You're gonna win a. You're gonna win a British card. I already know what you win from this. A one point two. Think you might like it. Oh my fucking god. It's hey going to be a BMW. Oh, okay. Hey, it's an E-Type. Yeah. It's the chair. It's a car that my one dummy friend on PlayStation says he doesn't like because he thinks it looks like a truck shoe. I guess he's got a point. He's wrong. He, he has I mean, kind of got a point. It does kind of look like a shoe. <laughs> he looks like a shoe, but he can die. Shh. Sure. Fuck me up, fam. Anyways, not... where is this? There it is. Fringle die. What? It's Pringle. a jag. 265 pounds per 264 yeah. pounds on 1961. I'm in the jag. Anyways, I'm in the jag. we are 31 point f That A spec mileage isn't moving, I'm is it? I'm terribly sorry. I, I accidentally killed your dog. Oh, I'm in with jag. my jag. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. Inferno. Yeah. Is it me or is that A-spec mileage just not moving? Um, oh, I'll see it, never mind. Hard to That's tell, it. really, to be honest. I agree, we should find out in the next episode. Speaking of which, we're now 31.5% way through the game. Hooray, hurrah, hurrah. Next time, we're going to be taking a look at the... Um, French Car Cup. The French Thank Car Guitar Championship. Uh, until then, farewell.